So new and other business, I'm going to move where there's a MOU for participation in seed pool purchase of photo system. I'm pronouncing that correctly. Yeah. So Tom or Sam. Um, I move we adopt the um, seed pool purchase procedure. Can I have a um, we, we actually need um, three votes here, and Cyan cannot right. part in this uh, vote. Uh, may I? The, the one, yeah. yes, you may. Oh. The one thing that, that uh, has been my concern, and, and, and County Council, uh, this as, MOU as to form, but raised the same question, I finally got answered, is that the DSD is not obligated to do any reimbursement of anything. Uh, unless we actually do, in fact, unless we actually uh, agree to participate in a uh, in the finance uh, project, and it would be a project the implement the implementation. We apparently, uh, Keith Scheuer explained today that we could back out even once the bids are back, and we said too rich for our blood. We're not going to do this, uh, and and still and be under no obligation. That it's been that the question of what's the catch, when does the obligation kick in, and the obligation <coughs> that we would have would be to reimburse the seed fund for uh, one and a half to two percent of the project's value uh, for the site work that they've done going into this, the preparatory work and RFP development <coughs> and things. Correct. Yeah. So uh, I finally got that absolutely clear. And do we know what? What did two percent of the federal project cost? Cost of the project? If I, I, I get that. I was just looking for. Some yeah, we we I actually know. will find. What this does now they will they do a site assessment, a feasibility assessment, and so once having signed the feasibility assessment, we'll get an assessment, and it will tell us, you know, what we can develop and what would be the optimal. Um, Capacity to develop uh, if we were going, one, if we were going to purchase two, if we were going to do a uh, a uh, paid. Um, what do you think? And it's also just so you guys know, it's only so, <coughs> right. so most likely what what the district would end up doing. Probably. You could actually build that. So in all, you see about a reduction in the, the, the reimbursement. The reimbursement set of the cost basically pays for the technical assistance. There's a company that would come in and do a full. Assessment of the, um, and that's generally what blocks any public organization from moving forward with solar is this inability to afford that up front. So right. it's expensive. The two things. First of all, Gary, would you turn off the air conditioner, please? Because oh. it's blowing right straight on us. Oh. You may not be I, feeling I, I, it. Sorry. <laughs> Somebody turn off the freezer that's blowing on us. I'd never. T uh, would the Members of the public, like a little translation of what we were just talking about. Okay, uh, the the underlying project is uh, solar energy for uh, the district buildings. When public agencies want to put in solar, they don't get the same deal that you hear on the radio for homeowners. There's actually study costs that have to be incurred to set up the design and where where do these things go, engineering the structures, if there are structures. Some of these actually come out as a carport shade structure that has solar panels on top, which is a really, or, or a shade structure by the pool that provides shade and also provides energy, and it's all part of the project that has to be designed and engineered and spec'd up front. Those costs are prohibitive for small agencies like us to pay. There's a grant pool in place called the Seed Project that covers those upfront costs until and unless you actually buy a project that comes from a bid from the group. Cyan is recusing herself from the vote tonight because her company, SCI, Strategic Energy, yeah, Strategic Energy Innovations, say that three times fast. Uh -huh. um, is, is involved in the project and so she has a conflict of interest and isn't voting. But what this is about is a feasibility study that costs us no money up front, costs us no money at all unless we actually buy the system from one of a number of bids that will be proposed. And those upfront costs are actually covered by the savings that would be 
enjoyed from participating in a pooled purchase of the installation. So what we're doing is, is we're promising to say, if we let you do the work, and if we buy a project based on the work that you did for us, but you'll get the next two years. within the next two years. Within three years, we don't back any money. Right. Um, that we will uh, contribute money back into the pool so that it can keep rolling for other people. Right. So I know we have a we had a motion. Did we get a second? No, there was. I, 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 I seconded it, so now we have this. All right. So now we have discussion. Um, yes, Stephen gave us a letter, handed us it tonight. So, or actually to the board, is there a uh, uh, in purchase? Is there a discussion? No. Okay. So when you get uh, this is to you. Did you get a bid for say? A an engine for oh, you're doing the uh, uh, you mean yeah I mean place. if if you you wanted to get a new group, if, if it's architectural you, yeah we hire an architect if it's an engineer no, I'm, I'm just talking about covering uh, over but the here fire. here where you mean to put solar up there I, I guess what I'm I'm asking is me what this this sounds like is backing for a job which is good and I think we yeah. should we should take a look at it but if there is no immediate plan purchase. Uh, <coughs> Solar. I don't think it's in our best interest. Technology tends to decline over time. Price it becomes more market. It becomes more price efficient. Um, that's point number one. Point number two. There's no indication that whatever is offered through this program is going to be competitive, both technologically and price. Uh, Why the MOU for obligation for consultants? Actually, no, it does not. That there's no. We absolutely no connection. Bought to bid, and we will get the credit. It, and it's, it's one energy. bid, and it will, the bid will cover, you know, there are about, right now, about 20 agencies and cities in, in Noma counties who are going through, you know, just this process. Um, and uh, there, there would be one bid for that whole big chunk of business. Uh, yeah, and so there, there is, uh, you know, a, uh, uh, a cost of uh, scale, efficiency of scale that we would be participating. And so and to continue on with, with my points, there's no indication that the software will be the, the most competitive. Now, you're that's suggesting not, there's that's not true. There's no. Well, you're, there's a financial obligation. No, there is not. No financial obligation. If you purchase an alternate outside whatever this program. No. Is. No. Yeah, I understood. No, right. I think Please. you understand. So all that all that we would be agreeing to that somebody's going to come in, do a stress, assess what the best. Not a company doing the cool. No, just like an engineering complete biased, total on our side. There's no. They would then that assessment of a lot of other cities about Sonoma and Marin, that pool would go out to bid. Go out to bid. A lot of solar companies bid on it. Would bid on that whole package. Then that one, whoever wins that bid, would be the go through lots of vetting process. Have an individual. Co oh. No, or not. If, if I may, if I may <laughs> on, on my point, it, company, so it, would be, it would be a contract with Solar City. I, I have no idea. Who That's who we would be contract. Whoever won that big, this, this has been done, a, and all of the other air on, there's been a cost reduction. So is the point, I mean, I think the, the goal, the reason why price is efficiency, that's pricing, and the gearing of the system had to do with, you know, one of those companies seeing all the things. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Hey, well, hold on. Points. It's Stephen, we, we've gotten your letter. I'm going to go on to Isabella because no, we do no, need, I, I, I do need to call the question on this. I, I, do, I do have a question, and I, I need clarification here. It sounds One like question, the engineering you're saying is only available at, at some expense to that would qualify. Uh, yeah. that, is Doing that an engineering feasibility study in right. I mean, any uh, city in the... can't do an RFP unless we have an... Because you can't go out to bid without something that says... What right, Isabella? Yeah, I, I want to ask one other thing to read the, the contents Stephen, of this I'm just, letter. I'm moving on to this, Bella. We, we have the letter. We have the letter. It's, it's, it's going into the record. Uh, Stephen, so Stephen you're out of order now. Request for uh, proposal. No, I'm not. Uh, the co companies have not been vetted for their ability to deliver promised goods. And I appreciate the interest in Stephen. renewable technology. It seems very unwise. Okay. La, 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 la. Stephen, okay. you're out of order. Excuse we me. have you the know, letter. Thank okay. you. I understand. Okay. But you see, seem to want to stop on the points before the We have your letter. We've responded to the issues okay. in the letter. Thank and you you're out of much. time. Isabel, I'm sorry about that. So that's what we're going to get. That's, that's, that's what, what the study that's is what's about. confusing the steps. The steps are there's a assessment that's done. 
assessment defines an RFP. RFP is then used format to get proposals, bids on jobs that include specs and everything else. Well, from the bid process, you get best you know pricing, but you also get in combination with group purchase power. But you can't you can't do those things until you have the engineering. And, if, and this, the point of this is to make it all part of a package rather than say we're just going to ourselves. And, and also, the engineering study is not done in a. <coughs> There's, no, I, you know, we don't want. I understand. That's the feasibility. Study. So that's when we get the numbers. But so how, how will the five at the number divided by come all this all our impact? Well, so it's it's not. It's like us going. This is what we want to do. It's not that the that us and says for them. Final cost is going to be when they put out a request for proposals and there is an apparent lowest responsible right. bid. At that point, the district still has the opportunity That's to say you. no, to say that looks well, really nice, but it's not that. in the budget. And at that point, we have incurred no obligation. We can back out. Absolutely. So we will know those numbers, and we will be able to make that uh, choice. And I think we will have gone through a process that's a lot better than we could have done on our own. Yeah. Yeah, I, Actually, this process probably me. This sounds like a great opportunity for the community to cost savings and also providing maybe those kind of things. Sort of a this is a better. You're right because years ago it was just going and making some calls to a few companies, and that's right. that you don't get again. You, you get you get skewed numbers. You don't get an engine approach, and this this is a better approach to get it. You know, get right. Michael. Once again, I just, Steven. Yeah, Steven. Sorry, go ahead. I just want to make a note active. Yeah, I think well, since you know nothing of what you're talking about, please should be the, <laughs> be the first one to review the, the feedback. All right, I'd like to, I'd like to call the question. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. There is an implied obligation okay. that you're making. We don't. Know Stephen, you're out of line. We're done. Uh, okay. That's not so I would. You were abstaining, right? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. I'll abstain. Okay. There's no obligation. Period. Not that Stephen. Recusing. You're right. recusing yourself. Okay. All right. I'm going to move on to the revised injury and illness prevention policy. We have a new policy.